For the last few videos that we have shared, we've been on this theme of the power of a well-asked question, and more specifically on the power of a question that doesn't say to the person on the other side of the table or other side of the conversation that you want something from them. And so a couple of more thoughts to support that and some questions to ask for you as you progress throughout your day today. So <clears throat> thought one, as you probably imagine, the more questions you ask in a conversation, the more likable you are. In fact, there's lots of evidence to confirm that when you get closer to 11 questions in a conversation, you find yourself in a really positive light in the other person's um, mind or the way they think about you increases pretty highly just based on you getting to that 11 question mark. Um, on the other side of that, the number one complaint in first dates, in interviews, in business meetings is people didn't ask enough questions. And so think about both sides of that. We want to get up to 11. We become really likable on that, that side. And then on the other side is mo no, most people are complaining that most people don't ask enough questions. Okay, so the power of the question is clear. A couple of things to consider. One is a follow-on question after you ask a question is really impactful in terms of getting you to learn more and getting the person on the other side of the conversation to open up more. So you ask a question like, um, how have you been so successful in building your practice? And they share a few thoughts. That one point, that last point that you mentioned seemed really, really interesting. How have you been able to do that? Those follow-on questions that show that not only you listen to everything, but one in particular grabbed your attention and you'd love them to dig deeper into that, has lots and lots of power in terms of creating, again, this connection and the ability for them to open up you to learn and ultimately figure out how you can solve issues that impact their business in a positive way. Last thought is an amazing question to ask, both in a sales setting and in a personal setting, and one that it just unleashes um, amazing stories and ideas and sharing from the folks you're talking with. What's the coolest thing about you that I don't know? Ask someone that the next time you find yourself in a conversation with someone who you'd like to know a little bit better. See what the answers are. See where the conversations go. And most importantly, see exactly what happens with that connection going forward. Good selling, everyone.